Nakakalito ang mundo Kung sinong mahal mo siyang ayaw sa'yo Huwag sanang masayang itong damdamin kong laan sa'yo Paano naman ako kahit tagal ko na Umibig sa'yo Huwag sanang masayang itong damdamin kong laan sa'yo Kahit habang buhay maghihintay ako sa'yo Kahit pa Maglaho ang mundo Kahit habang buhay Maghihintay ako sa'yo Asahan mong hindi magbabalik Itong damdamin ko Paano naman ako wow, wow. Nakakalito ang mundo Kung sinong mahal mo siyang ayaw sa'yo Kung sinong mahal mo siyang ayaw sa'yo Hey ho ba! Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. <sighs> Tired. I get so exhausted. If you're new to the channel, I'm a thrifting channel. I'm a reselling channel. This is our full-time job. YouTube, thrifting, reselling. <laughs> That's how we make money. That is our livelihood. So, um, the main purpose of this channel is to show you guys that thrifting, you can find amazing things and for a fraction of the cost, usually. But sometimes they overprice things, but you just look at it, accept it, carry on with yourself. And hopefully we find some amazing things because I am feeling my woosaw. I am manifesting luxury. First in line today at Value Village. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you're new here, we're a thrifting channel. We thrift. We resell. We thrift for ourselves. We sell to make money. We hustle. Daniel's a hoarder. <laughs> Daniel's a collector <laughs> of pornography. <laughs> You know, it's just so funny when workers always come up to me and they're like, are you a reseller? I'm like, yeah, but I end up keeping like 80% of it. Like, yeah. Daniel always breaks the first cardinal rule of thrifting and reselling. Never fall in love with your own product. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm trying to get more footage at the thrift because lately we haven't had much footage. This feels like crocodile. This looks like crocodile. I'm gonna look at it. It feels like crocodile, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm gonna pass on it. I didn't even look at the price, to be honest. Okay. Here's this Joanne's. I don't see any good purses here this morning. Not yet, anyway. Um, I'm gonna do one more double check and then we'll look somewhere else. Oh, here's a coach. Ew, has that. How much is it? Ew, $14.99, they're in crack. Here's some cute bowie flats. No, a little bit of a heel. $5.99, it's not a bad price for these. I'm so, I'm so good that I find this up for you, actually. You can just bought these again. I wouldn't buy them, but. I need to find some hot end shoes. I would have picked this up if the buttons had Dior on it, but they don't, so we can't even repurpose it, really. Well, they have proof that it's Dior. <laughs> hey guys, so we went thrifting and we did find a few things today, so I'm kind of excited. I want to show to you, share with you, show to you. 
And the first thing that we got is two Michael Kors straps for $4. That was a deal. Hello. We could always use gold hardware Safiano leather Michael Kors straps any day of the week. Yeah, two of them. One of them is brand new. Where's the bag? I don't know. Sometimes I thrift bags that don't have the strap with it and then you have the strap and then your problems all disappear. Uh, okay, we also picked up this bag a little bit overpriced, but based on inflation, based on prices rising, which in essence is inflation, I ended up buying it because it's in like brand new condition. We love the color. It was $35. I love Salvation Army because they don't have tax. Yo, this one over here is a little tarnished. It smells like metal right there. But I mean, overall, the bag is in great condition. Like there's no cracking on the glazing. Mark right here, but I know that's wipeable. And it's a pretty good style because it is uh, uh, crossbody. I hate when coach gets dirty right there. Ugh, that is just one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm going to try and remove that. The most that we can probably get for this would probably be 45 to 50. So literally on this bag, we're just making like $10 ish. I'm going to try for 50 and make $15. A little bit of money, but it is what it is. I just noticed there's a little bit of wear on the glazing on here. But if this was in pristine, pristine condition, I probably could have shot for 60. But based on that tarnish that I missed and the little bit of glazing wear on this side, this is going to be a 45 to $50 bag. We picked up these glasses. These... I mean, for the price, $6 Dior. That's why I don't snooze in a sunglass section or eyeglass section because, you know, people, if you were to, if you were getting new sun, uh, eyeglasses and you were to buy Dior frames and put your prescription in them, you're paying for your prescription lenses and you're paying for the frames. And the frames are going to be like, if you want designer like Dior, Prada, Fendi, they're going to cost you a minimum of $250. Minimum, guys. So... That's why I picked these up because someone might want to buy it and put their prescription in it. There is a light prescription on them, so whatever. But yeah, um, made in Italy, Christian Dior, Le Marquis is the name of these. I love the Dior hit right there. Let's see what the, I look like with glasses on. <laughs> um i can wear these but they amplify so i don't know what the prescription is on them but they do amplify everything but i could still see clearly with them on last thing that we thrifted that i want to show you guys bye bye my papa. <laughs> chanel sunglasses authentic they even have the barcode right there um I think these were priced lower and then they priced them higher. I could not not get them for, I paid $80 guys. So we did up pay for these, but well, it was a hundred less 20% off. Thank God we had a coupon. Thank God they didn't mark it at FF because those bitches like to mark everything good FF. So you got the original box. You got the original case. This case is pimp.com too. Look at that. At CC, CC, Chanel. Comes with the ah, dust bag. <sighs> Made in Italy. <laughs> and here they are, guys. I don't know what the retail on this is. I'm going to guess around 400 to 500 retail for Chanel sunglasses. Oh, these are perfectione. Tortoise kind of... Uh, thing here you got your cc's there you got your um serial number right here etched in it and then you have chanel etched right in the middle here and you have a nose piece made in italy of course excellent condition these are definitely going to be sunglasses for a hot girl summer deaf
hot girl summer here's what they look like on oh my god i love them chanel hello chanel hello <laughs> um yeah i like them actually a lot so well made i don't see any scratches on them if there's any they're very 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 minor um but yeah we paid 80 dollars for these i feel like that's a really good deal i mean i feel like the thrift store should be charging 50 dollars for them i mean they were donated let's be real um but i wouldn't pay more than a hundred dollars and then like a unless i was buying it for myself obviously but i'm buying it to resell so I think Nancy used to work here, Luxottica. So, yeah, so far that's all that we got. Uh, have a few more thrift stores to hit up. Hopefully, we find something good. And, um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So, Daniel and I have a new plan. He's gonna camp here. I'm gonna go to Salvation Army. So, we cover two places at once. We found fuck all shit at Salvation Army. Hi guys okay we picked up a few more things just two more things one thing is okay this i'm not sure if it's authentic oh it's hard to authenticate sometimes but i know this tag because i've actually thrifted this tag before in a camisole um years ago so i am familiar with that tag but um okay so it's gucci size 38 pants they're like slacks just a straight leg the quality is really, really good. The stitching looks great. This is definitely leather. And um, this says Gucci on the buckle right there. I'm almost certain it's real because when you unbuckle it, um, there's two buttons here that say Gucci on them and like at this tortoise kind of color. Uh, what else? um and there is an inner tag but the inner tag is the thing that's making me kind of sus but i think this is the same tag for this um label so that's the tag it says gucci fabriel 93 percent polyestan or polyester i guess seven percent elastan so elastane for stretch and the trim is 100 percent leather and it says made in italy I don't know if I feel like I feel like for pants polyester I don't know I'm confuzzled I don't think Gucci would make polyester pants but I don't know I'm gonna have to google it but it's really good quality it doesn't even feel like polyester to me but why would they make pop why would they mix polyester and leather that I don't get <laughs> then speaking of Gucci we found some sunglasses yay they're broken but not broken they're well they are broken technically they're being held by a thread or like this metal thing but that's an easy fix from a optometrist i've i got i brought my tory birch ones in and they literally just screwed something in and it was fine so there's gucci on there gucci right there and then it's uh, made in italy they were ten dollars as is so that's what they look like on <laughs> I love that they make everything bright, so that's kind of cool. For $10, I couldn't say no for Gucci sunglasses. I mean, minimum for Gucci sunglasses brand new is like 200 something dollars, so we got those. So yeah, that's all that we got today. Oh, I also wanted to say that uh, Daniel had a good thrift day today too. He thrifted a few good pieces, like a Pendleton Aztec vest. Uh, what else? A Nike center swoosh uh, crew neck. And uh, one of his good pieces is an off-white, um, off-white, what is that called? Anyway, I'll insert a, a clip of him wearing it. I forgot what that pattern is called. Anyway, uh, it's off-white. It literally sells on Poshmark for $250, $300. So, and you can really tell the quality on that, that it, it's authentic. But yeah, that's all that we got today, guys. I am tired. I want to go eat. I want to go rest. Well, I'm not really going to rest. We're going to go home and work some mo, edit videos, post shit, message people. It is a job. 
Doing jobs I like are hand jobs and blow jobs.